Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is the Concept Goblin XL Prototype. Just to give you a little idea of its size, this was the, 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 the mini goblin, I guess, at this point, but it is the Concept Goblin, and this thing is tiny, but you can get a little, you can get a four finger grip on it. I do have a full review up on this knife if you want to check it out from Flipping Action reverse flicking action awesome little knife i'll link it down in the description if i can but this is the big daddy now a lot of people are wondering are they going to have a regular size one meaning this would be the xl will they have a large one right supposedly yes um marshall noble did say that they have he has a regular or a large size version coming however I don't know. I think I might like this one. And I say that because, okay, so when I'm holding it, right, this is a comfortable grip. This is a very comfortable grip, but I don't really use this part right here, right? From here to here is basically a PM2 length. So it's not like it's insane, but it is big. It's big in this direction, right? How tall it is. But that also benefits in a lot of ways because this thing slices like a beast. We'll get into that here in just a second. The action, the reverse flicking hole, you have so much room. It's so easy to reverse flick. You have basically anywhere in the hole you can, you can flick from, even left-handed. Now, it's not reversible, the pocket clip, but... I would imagine lefties will love this thing because it is super easy to, to flick. Now you also have the top flipper. Very, very nice too. Now, when you unlock it, the lock bar is very easy to access, not uncomfortable. I know it looks thin right there and people are going to think it's uncomfortable. It's really not. So it's not bad. And the drop, it's basically a fall shut action. It's at least very close to it. All you do is just give it a little tiny bit of influence and it's dropping. Now, this front flipper, you get really used to it and it's very easy to use. But at first, it does wind up being like, you know, this is wide. But man, this thing is a fidget beast. Now, going back to the Ergos, right here is where I feel most comfortable, you know, I guess. But we also have this little section right there. So this is insanely comfortable too. So the Ergos, even though this is on the, I want to say thin, but it's not like it's like overly thin. It's a good thickness, but compared to the height, it feels very thin in the hand. But because of its thinness and broadness, this thing is super comfortable. And you have the jimping right there. I do think the jimping would have been good right there, but regardless, you can hold it back there too. But you get a lot of leverage in your cuts. Holy cow. And then the geometry is really nice. This thing cuts extremely, extremely well. You know, especially with this full flat grind, this transition from the spine thickness to the grind going down to the edge, it's not like, um, it's not dramatic. It's, it's very subtle. So getting over that hump when you are slicing, it's very easy, very easy. And yeah, it cuts really good. Now the, the tip of it, you know, it, it is more of a sheep's foot style blade to shape. So it's going to naturally be good at utility cuts. Now this little part back there, you can let it hit you in the palm to push down in there, but you really don't need to. You kind of just let it ride right underneath your hand like this and really get into stuff. Oop, I cut my damn thing. Anyways, so uh, utility cuts are fantastic and you can do the pinch grips and stuff like that. Lots of different grips. Um, if you're going to cut some straps, that's also very easy and you can get up really close to where you don't snag the choil. Now let's take a look at that choil. The plunge grind starts here, ends here. So it does separate itself from the edge and Oh, I forgot to even say what the blade steel was. I'm sorry. This is the prototype. I believe the version will be in S35VN, I believe. And this one's, I think, in 9CR or something like that. But it doesn't matter. This is a prototype. I think the regular version is going to be in S35VN. That's what the little one is in. So, um, anyways. The... I'm sure there'll also be multiple different versions of this, just like the little one. If you look up the little one, you'll see basically what they're going to come out with this one. Now, 
the clip and carry before we get to the bad things the clip and carry really good in and out of the pocket the clip works fantastic now cl milled clips are, can be hit or miss for some companies or some designers whatever but this one works so good in and out of the pocket slips perfectly in and out and you you know because it's wide right here it, you know it does and also down here it has a little bit of a wider a nist to it so it ha does hang on very very good for the size of the knife it is and you have plenty to grab onto to pull it out of the pocket you know considering the type of size it is you know and it's not like i said it's not that it's dramatically long it's just it's big so yeah but i'll say this man i'm loving the size <laughs> i'm loving it i think i would i i'm i don't know because i haven't seen the large version yet but i'm Thinking I probably would pick this one personally, but you know, it's hard to say. Maybe both of them. Hell, maybe we'll just we'll just have to get all three. But uh because the little one, I'll be honest, it's mostly for Kara. I did I've carried it quite a bit. I have used it, you know, quite a bit. It works really good, you know, as a secondary option. However, this is more my size. I really like the stone washing and everything and hides the scratches, satin finish on here. Um, and then there will be a blacked out version. Now let's talk about some negative stuff. So some negative stuff. T6 is back here. We should, we want T8s. We want T8s, not T6s. Give us T8s. Um, next thing. So another thing is the choil. So the sharpening choil here, I put that in there because it was similar to this one when I first got it. But after putting an edge on this and sharpening it, you know, you take a little bit of steel off of the edge. And when you take a little bit of steel off the edge, this doesn't, you know, it, it's almost lined up with the plunge grind that goes down to the edge. So you wind up sharpening back right here when you sharpen the knife. So what I would do, because I understand what he was going for with this design. He's trying to make it to where you don't have, you don't ever snag on anything. Like, so when you're doing repeat cuts, you never have to worry about hooking into the plunge grind. You know, it could just slide right in, right? But what you can do is just make it slightly deeper so that you at least have the ability to do one or two decent sharpenings. Because the one thing I am happy about is you have all the room in the world to add your own sharpening choil in very similar to the small one that's why i was able to add my own little choil in was because of that reason because it is an internal stop pin so since we have all the room back here you know without and what i mean is a lot of times they put a stop pin right here and then it hits right on the edge or at least right there which makes it you know impossible for you to add a sharpening choil in this case it's an internal stop pin so we have all the room in the world to add our own choil in which would be very easy i could easily add a choil on this so it would never be a reason why i wouldn't personally purchase it but um they could easily just do it at the factory just you know just add this a little tiny bit deeper um next thing the jimping the jimping it's fine okay so i don't all these things i'm mentioning are fine but the jimping on this one i like better now if we look at the jimping here you'll see how it, it's kind of nice and sharp it's set up like where everything the the jimps are really nice and tight together and it makes it more sharp now this one there's they're farther oh they're farther spread apart and they're rounded if it'll stop getting blurry it's kind of rounded on the top let's look at this one again these ones are kind of sharp and maybe it's just because this is a smaller knife so they put tighter jimping but it does feel more slicker so yes it works great it, it you know if i didn't have this one in front of me to compare it to it wouldn't matter at all but i would like this jimping on it a little bit better than this jimping you know i'm just talking uh, but other than those couple little tiny things, I really have not much to complain about. I don't have the same, um, lock, uh, rock issue. This is super solid. I love that they put the inside or the cutout for the lock bar on the inside instead of on the outside. So you have nothing sliding in the way of the clip. Um, lots of milling on the inside to bring down the weight. It's like, yes, this is a big knife, but considering how big it is, it's really not ba bad for the weight. But, you know, weight doesn't really bother me like it might some other people. So, you know, you got to kind of look at it 
for how it will work for you. I can't really give you lots of specs and details and everything because this is a prototype. However, I I'm loving it. <laughs> I really am. I think this thing's awesome. Now, some people might say the detent is a little light, but only if I grab it back here can I really pop it out. This direction, I mean, you have to really try. This direction, I mean, I could do that to any knife. So it's not that big of a deal. And it's nice having, it really, it's well-tuned. I'm not even going to say that because it's a big knife. It's a big blade. So, of course, it's going to be easier to pop out of the detent. But it's not easy to fail. So no complaints. There you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.